Hello guys, this is Shrix and welcome back to State of Mind. And we are going to play as Richard in this episode. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Good evening, sir. Today is January 12th, 2048. It is 626 p.m. What? How late is it? You slept 17 hours, sir. Oh. Why didn't you wake me? Tracy and James should be back any minute now. You asked me not to disturb you, sir. <sighs> Damn it. Well, at least help me to clean this place up. You have new cloud messages. Okay. So what happened? Frank. Hi, Richard, are you there? Yeah. Okay, you probably don't want to talk to me right now. I get that. It's just your column. We're editing. Can I expect it today? If not, Troy can take care of it. Okay, so see you tomorrow. And don't worry, everything will work out. Okay. Not now. What's with the cleaner? Is it broken again? Should I clean up? That's the cleaner's job. Where is that damn thing? That's it? I think I asked you, where's the cleaner? What's with the damn cleaner? Let's see. Something's in the filter. God, what's this doing here? I haven't seen this card in years. Why did she keep it? Where are they? They should be back by now. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm back. Is it now? 8.30 p.m. Damn, where is she? Maybe you should call her parents. Jennifer is online. Richard. Evening, Herman. Richard, listen, now is not a good time. I know, it never is. I just wanted to know if Tracy's still there. Tracy? No. Okay, and when did she leave? She wasn't here, Richard. Not today, not this week. Oh. But why did she say... You know, Richard, maybe she finally left you. You would love that, wouldn't you? Well, if you ask me, she should have dumped you ages ago. She deserves better than you. Well, so she wasn't there. That's encouraging. Maybe something's happened to her. Do you even care? Richard, I know my daughter. She's fine. And when she finally ends it with you, she'll be even better. Whatever. Have a nice evening. Whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> Let's see if I can call her. This contact is currently offline. Well, that helped. Hey, Jenny. Richard. <laughs> Good to hear from you. Hey, Steve told me you're in hospital. Is, I have to is sneeze. Okay? Yeah, <coughs> sort of. An <laughs> Sorry. I have to regroup a little. Listen, Jenny, is Tracy at your place? Um, uh, no. <laughs> Why? She said she was taking James to her parents' place. She should have been back by now. Oh, well, she's not here. 
I haven't heard from her in days, actually. We tried calling her parents directly? Yeah, she's not there. And Herman... <laughs> Herman is a dick. Well, you know Herman. Did Tracy say anything to you in the past few weeks? Did she... you know, did she say anything that I should be aware of? No. Come on, Jenny. I know you're best friends, but I'm worried about her. Okay. Of course, she told me that things weren't so good between the two of you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> but the, she's been saying that for ages, and I'm sure you know that too. <laughs> Does she want to leave me? Did she say that? Oh, what was that? Did she? God, Jennifer, don't make me squeeze it all out of you. Well, she thinks you're having an affair. So she does want to leave. I don't know, Richard. Are you having an affair? <sighs> no. I have to call Medicentral now. Is there anything I can do to help you? I have to go, Jenny. Say hi to Steve. See you later. So am I having an affair or not? I don't know. What's this? That looks interesting, sir. May I ask who created those records? Walter, my ex-partner. Why are you asking? Those are some complex structures. He is intelligent. He was. Is he dead? I do not have any information about that. I apologize, sir. No, he's not dead. This stuff here made him crazy. Now he hates me. I do not understand, sir. No. How would you? I came out on top. He didn't. That's about the gist of it. You're very polite. Futuristic laptop. I know I have to call medical something. Medi center. The turning test. Introduction. Serious. Ironic. I'll go with ironic. Main text. Let's read first. You want to know if I want to smash my bot? I don't understand the question. Please ask him. Not me. He passed the turning test. Why on earth would I want to smash him? I don't really get that. I've lived my whole life without a bot. For decades. Four decades. When I was a kid, I smashed the toys robot. I smashed the toy robot of a friend. I didn't keep up at night. It didn't keep me up at night. My reading skills are still on par. What did I know about the turning test? No, I don't like that. Why tell us that? Why tell us this? A bot came into my life this week. It was stand. It was standard procedure, really, just not by my authorization. Now he's here, and I realize how much I, he knows. How much more he can do, but I don't ask him anything. He's too human to be ignored, but not human and not human enough to be trust. To trust. Ironic. Why tell? you this. Without a bot, we'd be screwed. Let's be honest. We wouldn't remember our kid's birthday. I owe a bot and he knows everything. Okay. He beats me at chess, if I allow him to. He speaks Japanese. He remembers my first kiss. Why should I dece deceive you and act like I'm a good person? The bot is much better than me. I like that one. Conclusion. Serious conclusion. Actually, I find it helpful to have a bot around. His presence reminds me of what I don't, do not want. Frankly, we should thank the bots and their mistakes. Demo the demonstrations better. They demonstrate better than any declaration of rights. That we have to remember our own humanity. Ironic. So you think we 
so you think you are particularly clever particularly interesting well i'm bored i'm bored already tell it to my bot and if you are too busy just send your own bot and they can talk to it then and they can talk it out and we can stay out of each other business i like that one closing yours richard nolan okay frank okay i guess i'm calling the hospitals now any idea what this is about no sir is there something wrong with it tracy didn't mention anything no sir okay medi central you are speaking with bot 3452-1 search for person understood please state surname first name and age of the person you are searching for nolan tracy 39 years old nolan james 7 years old understood please hold hold music <laughs> the dialogues are a bit cringy i mean not the conversation just the one liners your search has yielded no results the persons you are looking for are not in care how far back does the information go you require security level 2 to access archival information okay thanks thank you sir okay were you listening she is not at her parents or at the hospital either can you explain that to me where is she where is my son i cannot provide you with any information about that you damn things save everything else i retained the information that your wife intended to visit your parents in law but she didn't Did Tracy meet someone? When she left, was there anyone with her? There was a man. A man? Who? What was his name? I can't say anything about that, sir. What the fuck? I want to see your memory module. Only authorized personnel from Kurt's labs are allowed. Nonsense. Open the slot. I apologize, sir. I do not have the authority to open it. Fine, then I'll do it. You won't be able to open that, sir. You need the calibration key. It must be here somewhere. Okay. I mean that's helpful. Oh lord. Let's search the calibration key. And there you have it. That must be it. Okay, sir. And what now? There is one thing you must never forget, Adam. Your most important task in this city: being a good father. John wants to learn and grow, and you can help him every day. So I assume I can take him now. Mr. Newman, your son will be with you momentarily. Thanks. Okay. Hey, bebe. Hey. Is everything okay? Mhm. Mm Are you done for today? We will see him tomorrow morning, same time, same place. You don't need to do anything. Our clinic service will pick him up. Is there a problem with that, Newman? Maybe. Another appointment. Should I be concerned? concerned? Absolutely not. No need to worry. The clinic's responsibility is to accompany patients under 12 years of age for 2 weeks with their recovery. In John's case, it could even be a few more days. All right. See you tomorrow, John. Come on. Let's go home. Can I talk to you? Is he serving you right? I don't know. 
What's this? So, what did you talk to Dr. Sykes about? Nothing. He only asked questions. Like? What kind of questions? Doctor patient confidentiality. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Amy is online. Adam, where are you two? Are you coming home? We'll be right there. Perfect. See you soon. Yep. The sky looks awesome. Okay. Let's run. Stuart is online. Oh, it's Stuart now. Adam. I just wanted to hand off a bunch of my work to you, but Fred says you need to recover. <laughs> what can I say? Without you, my independence arias are half as stellar. I'm just not talented enough or uh, too clever for this nonsense. Probably, Probably the, the latter. Former. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the latest Newman conspiracy theory has been circulating around here. Why is a healthy man without any bruises lying in bed? What are you hiding, Adam? Conspiracy theory? Sounds like layman. Who else? So, what is your theory? You got a twin brother. Um, no. <laughs> well, then my theory is crap. Although, it took quite a while to answer. Tomorrow, you're coming in. Shaved and showered. Got it? <laughs> got it. Excellent. See you in the present, Mr. Newman. Okay. Don't you think I should know what's going on? He asked questions. Normal questions. How I felt, what I was thinking. Well then, what are you thinking? Okay. Bye. Yeah, nice thinking. I think that every day. Fucking hell. It's Monday, and you are watching the present. Your life is our poetry. Everything that matters to you. Can I talk to you? Nope. A lot of fucking loading screen. Which is fine. John? Adam? Mom? Where are you? Adam, thank God. Are you feeling better? Yep. You're looking less pale. Thanks. I... Yeah, I, th I feel better. Can I go play? Uh, can he? Yeah, he, he can, of course. But no rampaging. You probably have a thousand questions. I don't, actually. Sure. Why would you? Sorry. My head is spinning. I have to finish up here. Is Governor Kane making you do overtime now? No rest for the wicked. Still the same project? Yeah, but it will be great, Adam. Perfect. You'll see. Oh, this accident. I still can't remember anything. Maybe it's for the best. Post-traumatic stress. Dr. Sykes said it'll go away. Let's hope so. So, a nanny. Am I such a bad father? No. I'd say you're more of a... I mean, you're not a complete dud. Oh my god. Is a nanny so bad? John never had problems being alone. John is seven. You want to work again. I'm hardly at home. I think she would be good for him. She'll keep him grounded. Okay? Okay. Okay. I have to get some work done. Lie down. Get some rest. Okay. I kind of like the pacing. All right. 
So, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a sub if you loved it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, peace out.